right, Tim. Now to a disturbing discovery on Detroit's east side where police find a six-year-old zip tied. Tonight, the boy's mother and father are in police custody. This all started when police responded to Berkshire Street just south of I-94 for a welfare check. Police say they found that six-year-old bound inside a small camper outside a home. Victor Williams is on the east side with what else police found inside. Victor. Yes, police pulled those kids out of this camper that sits right here on Berkshire, and they were not living in good conditions at all. Now, this is all coming from the police, of course. They're saying that one six-year-old was zip-tied, but we just spoke to a man who identifies himself as their uncle. He tells me that's not true at all. Man, those kids were well taken care of. Those are my brother's kids. The man who simply wants to go by Young West says the three children that were taken away from this camper by police were never in any danger at all. For you to just come by with no reason at all mm -hmm. and snatch some kids out and make it seem like we're doing something wrong, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. We're told police showed up Wednesday night to the camper belonging to the son of the homeowner next door for a wellness check. And once inside, they allegedly found three kids ages six, four, and two in a horrific state. The oldest child bound by zip ties. Two people believed to be the parents were taken into custody. The woman is his fiance. Officers also retrieved a long gun from the camper, a weapon that Mr. West says was crucial for their protection in the neighborhood. You cannot get mad at us because of the simple fact that we have weapons to protect our children. This is the United States. We're in Detroit. Everybody has guns. We are entitled to our rights. It's amendments. Come on now. We have a right to bear arms. And even through all of this, Wes is rather optimistic that his brother and his so-called fiance will beat this case. Ain't no charges gonna stick due to the f simple fact that they don't have anything. Now, all three children were taken to the hospital for an evaluation. We're told that they are all doing okay, but they're in the custody of Children and Family Services. Reporting live tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4. And Victor, did all these children live in that small camper? No, Kim, we're told that they were only visiting with their mother and all of this happened. So obviously there are a lot of unanswered questions here and hopefully Detroit police can get to the bottom of it and update us so we can then update everyone watching. Yes, indeed. Okay, Victor, thanks.